Hey there folks and welcome back. I am Chris from iLather.com and today we're going to use Katie's Bubbles Orange and Huge. And this soap is a special soap that was commissioned uh, for a Facebook group and I'll talk about it in just a moment. You cannot buy it, I'll, I'll tell you that at the onset. Nice uh, orange scent, which I like. And again, orange, huge, Trump. It's, it's kind of a, you know, a play off Trump's uh, spray tan or what we can think is a spray tan. To, to go along with the sort of orange theme, I'm using this Butterscotch uh, Razor Rock 400, which I like a lot. Oh, by the way, before we start loading, today... We're going to try our derby, or continue our derby challenge. Um, in the rose gold R41, we have a derby premium. In the uh, R41 with the Jurgen Hempel handle, we have a derby extra. So we'll split our face and see how these two razors do um, with an R41, where that, whether I can tell a difference. Here's what the blades look like in the right side derby premium, left side derby extra. So. We'll see how that goes. And let's wet the brush and get to loading this wonderful smelling soap. All right, the soap. Um, in the razor and brush face group, that Facebook <laughs> group, sorry, I'm tongue twisted this morning. <clears throat> Back during the election, the debates, we had a thread where we talked live about what was going on in the debates. And it, it went re really, really well. Um, we just had a great time. No one got upset. And uh, so... Also, election night, we, we discussed it. Um, and so as a result, Zach Plebritus, who's one of the founders, or, or he's not the founder, but he's one of the early members of Razor and Brush, he commissioned this soap with his own money for everyone who participated in those uh, sort of uh, debate threads and election threads, which was really, really nice out of his own money. And he's done this type of thing uh, a number of times. Just a show of appreciation for everyone who participated and, you know, sort of added something to the group. As you know, in Razor and Brush, we talk more, uh, we talk <clears throat> about things other than shaving. Sorry, I'm uh, tongue twisted this morning. Maybe it's the orange and huge, huge rather. It smells so nice, it's got me all <laughs> stupefied. Anyway, looks like we've got a pretty good load here, so, uh, let me wet the face and we'll get going. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get going here with our orange and huge. See how we do this morning. I don't know what the dogs are working about so early. But anyway, let's get rolling with our orange and huge. Boy, what a great scent. It smells sort of like blood orange or something like that. To my nose, wonderful scent. And no, by the way, you cannot buy it. It was commissioned uh, but again, Zach Plavridis, don't bother Chris Cullen about it. Don't whine about it. And if you do whine about it, it's not going to be, it's not going to make any difference. Um, it was a special soap meant to commem commemorate a special series of events. And uh, it's one of the things I like about Chris Cullen. He doesn't cave to whining. He doesn't reward bad behavior. And I like that. Um, I like that he sticks to his guns. And if someone wants to commission a soap and make it, you know, exclusive for for a group or whatever, he does that. And I think it's uh, I think it's very nice. The nice thing about that is, um, you know, he's he's made soaps for other groups, you know, as well. So he's just the type of guy that. Um, sticks to his guns, and I respect that very much. He doesn't, you know, he wants to please everybody naturally, but he's not going to cave into whiners, and I like that a lot. So, we're going to start with the uh, Derby Premium on the right side of my face. Let's see how it goes. And as you know, the R41 is known for its aggressiveness. Um, that still feels pretty darn smooth. I will not talk when I'm doing the stash with the R41 because I will surely cut myself. Um, that's usually when I cut myself um, when I'm talking, doing the stash area. So you have to show the R41 respect because it is 
fairly aggressive. You feel feel a lot of um, a lot of blade on your face. So that was quite smooth. Let's try the Derby Extra. And to be honest, once again, that's nice and smooth as well. I'm not feeling hardly any difference at all. Hmm. Nice and smooth. No difference whatsoever that I can detect. So. I don't know, based on this first pass, I just can't tell any difference. And, and these blades are the ones I've been using in uh, um, my first two shaving episodes. I think this is ap actually episode number four of the Derby versus Derby. But uh, this is my third shave with these particular blades. I, I'm only shaving half of my face for each, so it's not really three um, full face shaves. But I could, couldn't detect any difference there. Let's come back for the second pass. Stay tuned. All right, so the first pass was fantastic. I really like this Razor Rock 400 brush, by the way. It does have some backbone, but it still feels soft, and that is nice. I don't mind the backbone on this brush at all because it still feels soft. Now, it doesn't feel like it's just pushing back. It still gives way easily, but you can it's dense, so you can feel that you know backbone, which I happen to like. Very nice. Our first pass was very, very nice with the R41 with both the Derby Extra and the Derby Premium. So we'll see how pass two goes. I expect it to go nice. The soap is fantastic. I love the scent. Thank you, Zach. Um, and Zach does a lot of wonderful things like this, he commissioned the uh, Greek peach. Uh, if you remember, Tim Soap did uh, made Greek peach originally. That was commissioned by Zach of Razor and Brush, and he gave it away to the members, which was excellent. Um, this time, we're going to use the Derby Extra on the right side. So yeah, um, Zach commissioned Greek peach and sent it. Uh, to the members again for free. He didn't charge for it. He didn't ask for any money. He uh, did this out of the goodness of his heart. Um, and when he says brotherhood, he means it. And he, he says it with his wallet. He doesn't only say it with his participation, but he, he says it with his wallet as well. And he's done that many, many times. When, when folks have needed assistance, he's usually the first one. Um, to step up and uh, it's it's really nice. I got a little water on my glasses there. Let's remove that before we do the other side. By the way, the Derby Extra side on pass two there, nice and smooth. So let's try the Derby Premium. Nice and smooth as well. I don't know, guys. I really don't know if there's a lot of difference In these blades, I just don't know because both sides are feeling nice and smooth. So, um, maybe there's a difference, but so far in this series, they pretty much feel the same to me. All right, let's rinse the face. We'll come back for pass three. All right, here we go. Pass three. The soap is fantastic. Great scent. Um, just wonderful. And again, thank you, Zach. I mean, he just didn't commission a few. He spent a lot of money um, doing this for the members of the group, which is just fantastic. So for all the people who poo-poo the political discussion and the fact that Razor and Brush talks about things other than shaving at times, then it's just not a forum that is limited to strict shave geekery. Sometimes... Not only is it a great discussion, but people like Zach show their appreciation. And you get a heck of a nice soap like this. Just shows up in the mail one day, which is just fantastic. And he didn't ask for a dime from anybody, which is, his generosity is off the charts, people. And I have to say, um, a lot of uh, members of Razor and Brush over the years 
their generosity has also really been fantastic um, as well. So it's just a wonderful place, at least uh, for many of us who really enjoy it. Yeah, sometimes people get you know, angry or upset at the political stuff, but for the most part, it goes nicely. So I am really proud to be there. And uh, I've met a lot of great people through that group. Once again, on this side, this time we go back to the Derby Premium. It feels really nice and smooth. Let me shut up for a second here. Nice and smooth. Let's try once again with the Derby Extra. Folks, I cannot tell a lot of difference here. Even with the R41, which is aggressive, um, I can't tell a lot of difference in these two blades. So far, for me, it seems the only difference is the uh, cost and the... And the uh, the fact that the label says one of them is Swedish steel being the premium and the other doesn't. Other than that, I just really can't tell a lot of difference. All right, let's rinse the face and we'll come back for the post. Stay tuned. And all right, in comes the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel, which I use every day here on the channel. And uh, it's wonderful. I didn't get quite enough on that. So let's do it again. There we go. All right. Really, really nice uh, shave today. Uh, let's go ahead and review the gear before we get to the aftershave. We had two R41s. One was ro rose gold. It had the Derby Premium. The other just have, has the Jurgen Hempel handle with uh, Derby Extra. Again, I couldn't tell much difference in the smoothness of these blades. They were both pretty doggone smooth and I got a great shave. So, um, for whatever that's worth. We also used Orange and Huge from Katie's Bubbles. I want to thank Zach Plavridis and Chris Cullen. And especially, I especially want to thank Chris Cullen for not kowtowing to the pressure and doing these kind of things and uh, making life a lot better for us shavers with the great soaps and the fact that you're a stand-up guy. I really appreciate that. And uh, we also used Razorock. 400. I love this brush. This is a fantastic brush. I like it a lot. For the aftershave today, we're going to continue with the orange theme. I'm going to use Razor Rock Don Marco. This has been um, re-released, and it's up on Italian Barber now. If you want a good orange scented aftershave, Don Marco. I've always loved the scent of Don Marco. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I love it. It's one of my favorite scents. A lot of people um, compare it to a creamsicle. They say it smells like a creamsicle, and it does. But boy, I like it a lot. So I want to thank everybody for joining me uh, once again. Again, thank you, Zach. Thank you, Chris Cullen. Really appreciate it. Um, until next time, let's make the entire world shave great once again.